Hi everyone, Chris here from IELTSAdvantage.com with another success story. So we have Nav Joked and she's going to share her success with you guys so that you can learn from her. So Nav Joked, can you introduce yourself to everyone please? Uh, my name is Nav Kapoor and uh, I am working as a lecturer in mathematics since 2012. And I wanted to migrate to Canada on a permanent resident basis so I needed um, CLB 9 which is uh, listening 8 and rest of 3 7 so I was quite desperate to get this score but um, this has become only possible uh, because of VAP course so this is the all information I can tell about, about yeah. myself so before you joined our course what were you struggling with what did you find difficult um, about the IELTS test uh, I was finding difficult the, uh, the writing part because uh, I had appeared three times before my this successful attempt and um, even though I was thinking that my uh, attempt was perfect and I was uh, uh, I was thinking that I, I I, I am I'm able to get a seven, at least a seven, but uh, it was not possible even if I thought I have written very well. So first of all, I, it, take, it took a long time to make, to make my mind that um, it is not the fault of pilots. It is the <laughs> fault of <laughs> students uh, because I have listened from a lot of people that they are doing it intentionally and uh, they are not going to give you a seven. So it, uh, my last attempt was in 10th, on 10th February and then uh, I had almost given up. So uh, this was the only portion that uh, because I was getting uh, a quite higher score in listening, reading and a seven in speaking. So this was the only portion that I was struggling with. Mm -hmm. And what, mm -hmm. where, what score did you get before and what score in writing did you get after? I scored 6.5 always. Mm -hmm. Always. Uh, 11. How many times? <laughs> yes. you three, three times you got 6.5? Three times. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. And then after we helped you, what score did you get? Uh, sorry? Uh, after we helped you, uh, after you yes. joined the course, what score did you get in, in writing? <laughs> I got 7.5. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So, so that's a very common problem for a lot of people. A lot of people are stuck at 6.5 and they need 7 or 7.5 in the writing yes. test. So let's talk about that. Uh, let's talk about the differences between what changed from when you were getting 6.5 to when you got 7.5. What, what did you do differently? Uh, firstly, when I was taking uh, classes from uh, uh, teachers, uh, I, I joined three different teachers in a quite big city in my state. Uh, they were not telling about the different type of essays. Uh, it was um, uh, it was like they were they they are saying that uh, we have to answer the question in a similar way whether it is a discussion essay or it is an opinion essay that, that we can make an opinion essay a discussion one this mm -hmm. was the biggest mistake i have done in the previous attempts mm -hmm. so this time things were more clearer because i knew what i had to do in the exam everything was crystal clear in front of me because i knew there are five type of essays as you told and there are different approaches to attempt all these questions so mm -hmm. i was quite confident this time that i will get so i will certainly get my score in the mm -hmm. writing section mm -hmm. yes, and apart so, from understanding the different types of questions and having a different approach was there anything else that you think made a big difference in, in changing your writing from 6.5 to 7.5 keeping the things simple mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, uh, because I was making everything complicated. Because mm -hmm. uh, um, I, uh, I don't think whose fault is this, but uh, uh, by default, we are thinking that we have to write quite complicated vocabulary and we have to um, 
uh, we have to use a typical type of sentences uh, that is not the main thing because uh, we have to convey our ideas and mess uh, and our opinion to the examiner or whoever is reading then this is the main thing uh, i think it can take a long time Mm -hmm. for everybody to understand that this is the main thing we mm -hmm. uh, we cannot use any random words which we have learned from uh, random sources so mm -hmm. i think uh, if everybody can understand it but uh, oh, i think <laughs> yeah, I th <laughs> there are a lot of things i think this is about uh, i think we've done over 30 videos now with with vip students and every yes. single student has said yeah, keep it simple. That's the thing that, that that helped me more than anything. And it's it's a thing that is very difficult to 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 explain to someone because yeah. Yeah. when you fail a test, what you think is automatically naturally you think, oh, I have to do things in a more complex way or a more complicated way. So when you tell a student the opposite of that, then it, it, they find it very difficult to to accept it, and especially their it's the opposite to what a lot of other teachers are telling them, which is, you know, use complicated grammar and vocabulary and then you'll get the score you need, which, you know, it, it, it is not true. So if, if someone like you who, imagine you were talking to a group of other students and they were like you, they kept getting 6.5, what advice would you, would you give them? Uh, first of all, I will advise them that uh, making a plan is, compulsory in the writing because uh, in my previous attempts I I was not willing to waste my 8 to 10 minutes on planning but this time uh, even in practice uh, uh, when I was practicing uh, in my writing and uh, in the exam as well I spent around 8 minutes to, uh, to plan but, uh, and uh, surprisingly in the last 40th minute I completed my writing uh, writing task because I, I always attempt my essay first and letter, uh, letter in the last 20 minutes mm -hmm. it was amazing to see that uh, it worked quite well because uh, the, the a couple of minutes spent earlier are worth it because uh, it is uh, very important to plan Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's yes. an investment of time. Is how I always yes, describe invest. it. It's because a lot of people think of it as wasting time. It's like no, it's it's investing the time so that you mm -hmm. you won't be wasting time when you're writing. And um, so that that's excellent advice. Anything else you would say to them? Mm -hmm. Join the course. <laughs> <laughs> apart from that, apart from that, yeah, apart from that. <laughs> um, apart from that um... I'm putting you on the spot now. <laughs> I, th I think those, I think I, those, those three things that you said would make a huge difference to a lot of people. So you know, approaching each question individually and having an individual approach to each question, keeping it simple, especially when yes. it comes to you know clearly communicating with the examiner, clearly answering the question rather than trying to use fancy vocabulary and grammar and, yes. and planning, planning and time management also, um, investing the time to plan out your answer, which will lead to a much clearer answer, fewer mistakes, and you'll get it all done on time. So I think, yeah, uh, sorry, sorry for <laughs> sorry, putting you on the spot. And I know you're not an IELTS teacher. Um, so. Yes. You're very welcome. So what will you be able to do now in the future? That you've got your scores uh, I am now uh, an eligible for the express entry because uh, I was getting a quite low score in the process and uh, at present I have boosted my score by 60 points which mm -hmm. has made a huge difference mm -hmm. and uh, I think I will be able to move to my dream country Canada within six months Excellent. So, uh, Excellent. which uh, I have um, before uh, before this exam on 12th of May I because I had lost all the hopes and uh, I was uh, I was still hoping to move to Canada but I had changed my plans and I was thinking to move as a student because I just but but that that was quite difficult path for me because uh, it will take around four to five years to mm. get all the things which I can do with this score now yeah so this has made a huge difference in my life and yeah. my family. I, mean, I, yes. I was talking to a lot of students today and they, and they were saying to me, you know, oh, it's, 
I don't, I don't have enough time to, to do what you want me to do, or I, I don't have enough money to do what I want you to do. And I was, I was explaining it to them that if you think about it, you're investing this time, you're investing this money, but it's going to save you so much time and save you so yeah. much hassle in the future. Um, you know, invest. There, uh, there are a lot of people who are uh, uh, trying again and, and again. Mm. Uh, by thinking that uh, luck will get them uh, get to them soon and they will get a seven suddenly but mm. uh, i know this will not work because no. uh, i i had uh, tried three different approaches in my writing in my previous three attempts and i was not able to get seven to ten uh, then i thought there, there is something wrong with my writing so mm. i ha- i i need an expert advice so mm. Uh, I I I said uh, it's not for the fault of else. It's the yeah. fault of our. Uh, 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 yes. I think a, a lot of people who are failing over and over again. I was speaking to one guy yesterday and we were talking about whether he could join the course. And on the call, he was saying uh, he was blaming IELTS. He was blaming the examiners. Hmm. He was blaming everybody. And I said, listen, you're not, you, you, you're not welcome on our course. And he said, why? I said, because you, you won't accept that it's your fault. It's your fault <laughs> that, that you're getting those scores and blaming everybody else is only going to lead to further failure. But it's when you yes. accept that, okay, it's my, it, my responsibility to get the help that I need and my responsibility to do the work and to improve, then every single time we see students moving up and getting the scores that they need. But I, I see students every single day um, that aren't members of our course that are maybe, you know, in, in, uh, on our Facebook page or things like that, just blaming everybody except themselves, like ne- never, mm-hmm. never actually saying, oh, maybe I just didn't find the right teacher or didn't find the right approach or, you know, or didn't work hard enough. And I think accepting that is a big, big, big step, not just for IELTS, but for pretty much anything. You know, if you blame other people for your problems, then, you know, it it doesn't normally lead to success. So thank you very much for sharing that with everybody. And I wish you all the best of luck in in Canada. You're you're going to be a a mathematics lecturer? Yes, sir. Excellent. I am excellent. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Excellent. All right. So thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.